you're back on the kit lab it's your boy ak listen first things first make sure you like comment subscribe notification bell the whole works because this episode is about to get real flary we are testing out the phantom gt scorpion edition you ready let's go All right, before I chat to you about the boot and you see it in action, I've got to give you the lowdown on the history of the Scorpion cage. 2002 was the year that Nike dropped this mad advert. 24 players, I'm talking elite ballers, in teams of three on an abandoned ship hosted by Eric Cantona. Absolutely mad. You had players like R9, R10, Carlos, Figo, Totti, Henri, all balling out to see who was the baddest baller on the cage. Then. Fast forward that to 2020, you now got the new heads, the likes of Mason Mount, Kai Havertz, Rodrigo, Tanel Harder, Georgia Stanway, and Frank Kirby, and other ballers that are teched out doing the same thing on pitch. All right, we've talked about the origin, now it's time talk about the boot itself and the Phantom GT lends itself of course to a flying it upper as usual this is the Nike go-to right now it's not going to change for a while however what has changed significantly is the GT section generative texture and the idea here is that Nike spent two years emphasizing and testing which parts of the foot require more grip and more texture for better control and which parts of the foot don't on the lateral side here you've got higher grooves which enable for a better touch on the outside of the foot. So when you're dribbling, for example, you get much more grip and a closer feel. And on the inside as well, you have that same higher groove section for, of course, when you're striking the ball, when you're passing, again, you want more grip on the ball and more feel on the ball. So it's ideal for you playmakers, you wingers, you strikers, you attacking mids, those of you who love dribbling on the ball. All right, we've talked the tech, now let's talk about the aesthetic and where the Scorpion comes into it because the original ball from the 2002 ad was chrome silver. It looked absolutely crazy and that is the key inspiration for the upper here. You've got a beautiful chrome silver finish. You've also got painted black strip around the toe box which signifies the paint splatters for the goals that were on the ship in the advert. The lovely Scorpion, actually it's huge. I'm surprised at how big it is but the huge Scorpion right here and of course Engineering for skills on one side and the secret tournament, which is the advert we're talking about, written on the other. Towards the heel counter, you've got the sort of hazard sign and Phantom GT logo strip on there. And we move on to the sole plate. What we've got is a brand new system. It's called the Hyperquick system. The idea here is that this sole plate is strictly designed for maximal cutting ability on pitch. The two main features are, firstly, that it's anatomical, so it means it fits the shape of your foot very, very well indeed. And secondly, you've got two types of studs. You've got conical studs that are split in half for better rotational ability than any other previous boot before. And you've also got wider chevrons. So on the Mercurial, for example, they're very aggressive and the angle is more narrow. On here, it's a lot wider and more obtuse. So again, that enables those lateral cuts, especially when you're in front of goal. There you have it, we just balled out in the cage in the Phantom GT Scorpion Edition. Now, what's my opinion on the boot? Well, firstly, the theme is absolutely sick. I loved the advert when it first came out. I thought it was absolutely banging and I love the fact they've brought it back in 2020. The big scorpion is something that I like. I'm a Scorpio, so it only made sense, you know what I'm saying? Scorpio with the scorpions. Um, but in terms of the boot itself, the upper really surprised me in terms of how well thought out the grip is on the boot. I found that when I was dribbling, the ball felt close to my feet. Um, I went half a size down. So I'm normally a seven and a half UK. I went down to a seven. Um, and also like little details like the Scorpion inside here on the inner sole. Um, and also the little paint stripes. I thought they were pretty cool as well. Let me know what you guys think about the boots in the comments below. Give us a massive thumbs up and subscribe to us here on the Kit Lab. I'm AK, we signing out, peace.